And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. I want to make this one short and sweet and to the point. And I want to take a look at Bitcoin really quick. From the last high to the low, you can see we did make an attempt, a valiant attempt at the 618, not only once, but twice and thrice. I think uh, maybe we get one more push to the upside. Well, why is that? It's the heat map, which this is where the liquidity is lying for Ethereum down here at about 1525. Ethereum is getting shot uh, pretty, pretty, uh, the ETH Bitcoin pairing is not voting too well right now. That means Ethereum priced in Bitcoin is going down. But let's just show you what I'm seeing on the heat map here. <clears throat> Unless they're just going to send it right to the moon here, guys. But uh, there's one last little bit of liquidity to the upside right there at uh, 29.4, which is probably right in line with the overall 618 Fibonacci retracement off of the BlackRock scam wick. The black, I should call it the Coin Telegraph scam whip because you know they're in bed together. But where does that line up with? Well, probably all the people that have their stop losses above 29.1. We get one more push up there. And then why would they send it down after that? Um, I don't know. We may not go down. We may, we may not, but there's a bunch of liquidity here at 27.4. That looks like a good retracement area for another, yet, yet again, another uh, higher low. And that would be in line with the Fibonacci kind of game that the market makers like to play. And how does it go? Well, up to the 618, back to the 382, coming in at 27.360. As long as we kind of hold that 382 level at 27. 335 on Binance, well, that is going to be your bull case scenario. And you could expect an attempt at the 786 at that point. I don't think it stops there. Um, I expect maybe Jerome Powell fluffs the market today. I don't know. I really don't have a Jerome Powell, um, you know, thermometer. But um, what I do have... Is good old Dixie here chugging along, um, chugging along, and depends on what Powell says today. If Powell, uh, I don't know when the speech is, but if Powell comes out and says, look, we're probably going to lower rates at the next meeting, and we are going to start stimulating certain sectors of the market, I, I personally, I don't see how they don't uh, begin to lower rates as Things are, um, you know, our interest payments on our debt are, I mean, I think they added $500 billion in two weeks to our debt. That is, you know, that's more than the whole market cap of Bitcoin. Another reason why you might want to consider owning some Bitcoin. Um, so checking in there, uh, NASDAQ has been pulling back, uh, putting in that additional lower high. I do believe we're going to come fill the gap here. Um Pretty good trade on the board as well if you're trading stocks is this NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA seems to want to go fill this gap down here after making a couple lower highs as long as we're below uh, this. Closing dailies below the uh, right shoulder on this head and shoulders formation. What do you get out of these? Well, uh, shoulder, head, shoulder. If you break the neckline, well, your target down is going to be here. Coming in at 318 bucks. I heard Tesla struggled with their earnings yesterday. Tesla, let's take a look at Tesla. And we did say gap down. Wow, down, down to doggy town. Uh, probably going to sell off of this trend line. And um, yeah, uh, you know, filling the gap down here is probably the next uh, area of interest I'm looking at at 217. Going to be looking nice, uh, going to be looking nice. And um, what do I have to say about Mr. Ethereum bleeding it out? Is Jerome Powell on the news right now? Is he sh shafting the market as we speak? How's my mana coins doing? Mana, oh, the full retrace. And another very, whoa, whoa. 
Whoa, how high did it go? It's lower than the all-time low of 20, 2021, June 21. Not looking good there uh, for Mr. Mana. KDA. Whoa. And this is what I talked about, the uh, full retracement. The full, oh, there, it, can it go lower? Can't you go lower? Soaks are going to flip back down today. And, uh, well, if volatility begins to increase, not going to be looking good there. Um, what else is doing the full retrace that I have been uh, enjoying? And another one on the board that I would keep my eye on. Uh, this one here. This one did 1,100% in 30 days. 1,100% in 30 days only to uh, come revisit possibly the seven cent region. As uh, you can see, volume is continuing to increase day by day. And what about the two day? We're, two day, maybe we get a bounce here. But uh, looking at all the other green 55s, small bounce off that green 55 on the daily, the two day, where's the three day? Three days got a little bit more to go. Uh, three day will be closing in another two days. So it looks like a parabolic blow off top to me. And um, yeah, so back on to the theory for, uh, I did draw some boxes of peace and prosperity and death and despair. And um, well, that's to the upside, this is to the downside. And I'm getting on the receiving end of some 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 upside action right now, but that's okay. Um, what's another one to keep your eye on, Mr. Big Time? Mr. Big Time. Checking her out on the daily. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see this one all the way back down at seven cents. We're at 14 cents right now. Four hour momentum is, um, you know, possibly, possibly telling us a bounce could be in play. And what else do I want to bring up here? Well, um, I think it's a little bit easier to see on the two hour. Two hour momentum is to the upside if we do see with a bit of a bearish engulfing candle. Is it quite a bearish engulfing candle? Not 100%. So this one it has been a little bit brutal over the past several two hour periods, but um, as volatility ticks up, you would suspect a bit more downside action. What does the one hour say? One hour momentum snaking around here, snaking around and um, Let's check in on our Bitcoin dominance and Ethereum chart and Tether chart, Tether. So first off, well, what does CME say? The Bitcoin CMEs, uh, yeah, if we do take out that high, I would expect that run up to the 29.4 region for the CMEs. ETH Bitcoin, here's what I'm talking about, ETH Bitcoin. So Ethereum um, Bitcoin, you know, playing out some downside action. Oh, I have a meeting coming up here very soon. Okay. So I guess target hit, target almost hit off of our falling channel, sorry, rising channel, rising like the sun, rising like the sun. This one's been having a lot of fun uh, but we did talk about this uh, being an area of interest coming in at not 0.5 Satoshis, not 0.5 Satoshis. Um, I guess that is the breakdown target. Uh, wow. Of this uh, descending triangle. Do I think Ethereum goes down here? No, no, I do not. No, I do not. Um, but what I am seeing, oh, look at that blast off 
for uh, Ethereum getting a little uh, snake to the upside. Taking a little snake drive to the upside, grabbing the last bit of liquidity. There is a bit of liquidity up here at 1567 on the um, on the charts here. So this little bubble, 36 million and 100x liquidations coming in. So if uh, we do take out that wick, I guess that, well, I'm looking at a different chart. Um, I guess getting taken to the cleaners again, taken to the cleaners again. If, well, not quite, but um, that is a possibility up here again at uh, 1567. I would expect a rejection there. And then they send it down to uh, this area right here at 1535. That's that is, uh, you know, definitely a possibility for Ethereum. And uh, let's check out Dixie. No, Tether Dominance is going down. So that's good for your altcoins. Good for your altcoins. Tether Dominance going down. People are selling their tethers and they're buying altcoins right now. Even though the Dow's down, the S&P's down, and uh, I believe NASDAQ is coming down. So... Tether dominance on the four hour is from flipping momentum to the downside as we are getting a bit of a death cross here. So I would suspect uh, we might have a little altcoin party today. Uh, today being Thursday. Today being Thursday. Um, what else do we have on the board here that I want to take note of? What else, what else, what else? Was that the last final liquidity grab for ETH? As uh, you can see, you know, well, let's look at it on the shorter term time frames. That's the fun time frames. And why do I use Binance? Well, that's where the most volume is traded and when you're coming into the hourly closure selling off the green 55 and low volatility well that was your area of interest for taking a nice little short scalp a very nice little short scalp on the hourly time frame so momentum will flip back down below 1546 so Big closure in the next five minutes, and this is where it looks interesting to me. And that is what you typically see uh, for a bit of a fake out. I don't know. Everybody's stop losses are probably right up here, so they got hit. So if we do get a continuation push with a five-minute closure back above 1559, I would expect them to go for that additional liquidity up here at 1566. Uh, but as long as we are below there, I would say uh, pressure's on the downside. And the short term target I'm looking at is right here at 1550. Back to 1550. Did the hour just close? No, we got five more minutes left on this candle. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And we did talk about this being a potential to scoop up some altcoins, the Ethereum Bitcoin chart um, coming down to this level, hitting our target officially, I believe. The official target, I mean, close enough is close enough, but volatility is increasing. Momentum is to the downside, so that would... Leave me to believe there could be a little bit more left on this uh, on this chart. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. Hope you guys have a blessed and highly favored day, and I will check back in with you tomorrow. Take care.